Konnichiwa! <laughs> hey! Um, so, alright, like, this was my first week in Japan, and it was pretty freaking amazing. It was like nothing I've ever experienced in my entire life. So I'm actually added into the, like, this international student's building's, um, like, chat group, I guess. And so on there, I had seen that somebody said that there was like a pizza party that was going to happen um, and that like whoever wanted to come like you totally come and so I had said like that I'd love to go and meet everybody or meet some people um, from the dorm and I was new and everything so I thought that would be a good opportunity um, and that was supposed to be on Saturday night which was last night <laughs> um, me and Aji went and did that whole tour of Yokohama and everything and I came back and I was just really, really tired. So I was like, well, maybe I'm gonna stay in, but um, I want, I needed to like message people and the internet here just like wasn't working. So I was like, oh man, like, and somebody had told me that at some of the, the convenies, the convenience stores, um, that they have free Wi-Fi for their customers. So I was like, oh, maybe I'll just go down there and just get some Wi-Fi. I needed to talk to my friend that I was meeting up with in Tokyo today and like figure out the plan and so I like went down there and they like there are had like the pizza party all set up in the lounge there like which is like in the front entrance and they're like hey like come join us come join us and I was like oh and like because I didn't even know what like where it was like they just said it was a pizza party but I didn't see where it was located so I thought it was at someone's room but it was actually just like right there at the entrance so that I like went and joined them and everybody was super nice. Some of them were from Italy, some of them were from um, Africa, like, um, like Nigeria and Malawi. Um, there's also people from like Sri Lanka and um, I think there's somebody from Taiwan and the Netherlands, um, also China and there's like a couple Japanese people. Um, so it's pretty cool and like most of them spoke really really good English There's like just a few of them that didn't really speak English But they could still communicate and obviously like a lot of the people there are actually studying Japanese. So um, Yeah, they could all communicate in Japanese, which was really really cool. So I got to meet some sweet people Everybody was really really nice and friendly and very warm. So I was really glad that I actually stumbled um, into them and so yeah, that was really awesome. And then yeah, the next morning I headed over to Asagusa, which was a pretty amazing experience. I went and met up with my friend that I actually met online on like a Japanese, well not Japanese, but like a language exchange. So she was learning English and I was learning Japanese and so we were like training languages and we ended up just kind of, I don't know, hitting it off, I guess. So I met up with Ari and Keita and I probably butchered both of their names, but um, yeah, they were like the nicest people and like super fun and they just like wanted to have fun and like basically as soon as I got there, he was like, um, her boyfriend, Keita, was like, do you want to go see kimonos? And I was like, yeah, sweet, yeah, sure. And so like we go over and like find this place and we go in and apparently we we're gonna wear them like we we're gonna put the kimonos on and I was like oh my gosh we get to try kimonos on that's so cool and so yeah then like they pick one out for me like I, I told them they're like okay like you guys pick one out for me and like and then we picked one out like me and her boyfriend picked one out for her and like yeah me and her picked out one for him and uh, like they're so beautiful and I guess the ones that we put on were like the summer version so they're like a lighter material and uh and then yeah so like while we're getting dressed and everything it's like oh no like we're actually gonna like go out in them like we're gonna like they're basically like rentals like you can go out in them and they're like oh like you want your hair done and it was like what like okay sure and so we me and her both got our hair done and yeah so that's why my hair is like up like this see they did they did such a good job and she like whipped it up in like five minutes like it was like no big deal like I guess like they there's lots of girls there like there's like a good rotation of people so like they 
probably get a lot of practice and like I just didn't even realize like how much work it takes to put a kimono on it's insane like I was wearing probably three layers of just like garment like I had like this undergarment and then I had another garment that went over top of that one and then I had like the actual colorful kimono and then they like put like a bunch of like even under those like I had like I think they put like a kind of like a towel thing and then they put like like a belt thing and then like another belt thing over top of that and then layers and layers and layers and then like finally they put on like the nice like the colored belt and then they tie the bow like how you want it like they showed me pictures and they're like oh choose which one you want and so I picked the one <laughs> she was like this one's very cute this one's gorgeous this one's like I don't know traditional Japanese and then there was like this one so I picked the gorgeous one <laughs> and, and I think um I think Ari did too and then yeah then they just like whipped our hair up and yeah they gave us like those socks with like your toes go in between them and we got to wear the um like the flip-flops I guess there, there's definitely like a word for it but they look like flip-flops basically and um, mine were a little small but they're like no no that's a really good thing it's it's like it's supposed to be really elegant if like if your flip-flop is like smaller and your heel kind of comes off of it I don't know I was like well I have big feet and this doesn't fit <laughs> they're like no it's beautiful it's elegant like it's actually like a cool style or like I don't know the way that they're trying to explain to me that it was like a really it was supposed to be like that like it was supposed to look nice that way <laughs> We all got dressed up, even her boyfriend Keita, he got to wear a kimono too, but they have like different ones, like for men, they're totally different. They're definitely more plain, like they're more simple, so they're just like one solid color and then just like a belt. Like he only had like maybe two layers on. <laughs> um, and yeah, and then basically they just like sent us on our way and so we were just like walking out and about in kimonos, so it was so cool. But there's like a lot of people dressed up in like very traditional garments and stuff because of this festival apparently is like one of the biggest ones in to in in japan like it's pretty it's a it's a pretty big deal and so they're like and they didn't even realize that it was happening today and so they're like oh my gosh like they were so surprised and like super happy that it that this was like the day that we all decided to go there so it was really really fun and yeah, we like we ended up going to this restaurant and trying unagi, which is eel. So we had it was like I guess this restaurant like might have specialized in eel, and so we just like had like all this different kind of like prepared eel and like different I guess like parts of the eel and stuff, and it was really awesome. I got to try sake, and they got it from like I guess the part of Japan that they're from. So they're both from another like. From another town kind of more like south east I want to say on another island like it's like a tiny island next to Japan um, and so I guess that sake is from there and so they wanted me to try it and it was so good because back home sake I thought it was like disgusting like it tastes like warm vodka like fish vodka like that's like to me that's what it tastes like and it was just like disgusting but this one it was like sweet and but like not too sweet and I don't know it was actually like delicious like so good so yeah I'm definitely a sake convert like I will definitely be drinking more of it <laughs> whenever I have the chance I guess and the opportunity and then from there we just kind of walked around and we actually stumbled across this amusement park and apparently it's like one of the oldest amusement parks in Japan and it's like this tiny little thing and it's mostly for kids like they have like pretty kid like kitty rides but we went in and it was pretty fun and we actually ended up going on this roller coaster and we're like oh yeah this is a small roller coaster like how like scary could it be because it's such a small little place but it was actually terrifying. Like there was like parts where it looked like you're gonna end up, like hit hit a wall, but then you just like go straight down. It was pretty fun. It was really scary though, and yeah. So we all got up and we we're like, oh my god. We did all these fun like fair games and stuff. Like we did this like ninja maze where you have to like 
go through this like wooden constructed wooden maze and figure out your way around and get like stamps you have to go to these special little like meeting areas where you can like get a stamp on your thing and you have to get like three of them yeah after that we just kind of walked around and saw these different little shops and stuff and it was such a fun time and they're such a such a cute couple and they're so much fun they they definitely just like love to laugh and make jokes and stuff so yeah they they're really cool and I found out that Aerie is actually a dancer she like does a lot of hip-hop and like pop and lock and stuff so I thought that was so cool and so we were planning on going one day going out dancing or something like that so it was such an exciting day but now I'm exhausted <laughs> my feet hurt so much from walking but it was just so much fun like I like today was probably like I think one of my favorite days just because there's a lot of going on there was like so many people and it was really funny because we kept kept getting st like stopped by people and like getting pictures taken with us and stuff and people were like oh because like, I guess I'm like I look foreign obviously and so people thought it was like I don't know I guess interesting that I was like in a kimono and people really liked it <laughs> and so we kept getting stopped and getting people I don't know people were taking pictures with us so I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will talk to you guys soon. Ciao!